Hey there, 109 community. So we have a rather interesting thing coming our way, an educational opportunity with a bunch of bugs coming out of the ground. I'm here with Daniel Blonsky, who's our science curriculum specialist in the district. And Dan, the cicadas are coming. The they kids are. are talking about it. There's signs everywhere. Why is everyone making such a big deal about this year? So these are periodical cicadas. Um, some of you may be more familiar with, we have kind of the annual cicada that comes up every summer. This is a little bit different. So this particular brood of cicadas has a 17 year life cycle. Where does the cicadas come from? They spend almost their entire lives underground. And then every 17 years around this time of year, they come up to metamorphose, become adults, reproduce, and start their life cycle all over again. How do cicadas make that sound? So they actually have these little structures on the bottom of their bodies called timbals. It's kind of like a thin, almost if you think of like a, a drum where you have a thin membrane over a hollow chamber and they can kind of make that drum structure kind of shake or vibrate and they do it hundreds of times per second which generates this really loud noise. Should students be afraid of cicadas? Yeah, there's no need to be afraid of the cicadas. Um, they don't even have jaws, they can't bite. They drink sap from trees, so that's what they like to eat. They really don't have any interest in humans. We're just kind of there as they come up and do their thing. So um, as with, with most things, fear kind of comes from not understanding what something is or how it works. And so hopefully by publicizing the cicadas and what they're about, um, people will understand that there's really nothing to fear from them. What are some of the things we are doing in school to teach students about cicadas. So I know some of our library information specialists have sent out some additional information videos and such to classes. I think a big part of it is just going to be the experience. Like we get to have this happening in real time um, as we're here at school and so it's going to be kind of unavoidable and um, yeah hopefully people will take some time out to get outside take a look at the cicadas and really appreciate them because you won't have another chance for 17 years. Thank you Mr. Jablonski for your time and answering those questions. Click under the link that we're providing for a ton of resources if you want to learn more about cicadas and are ready for all those questions your kids are sure to have.